let's go ahead and show you how we actually do this. So the first thing we need to do is strip the shielding from this ethernet cable. I use one of these tools, uh, very common for ethernet termination. You can find it at any hardware store. Basically, we're gonna cut off about a half an inch, an inch of the shielding. Pull it right off like that. Then we go ahead and separate the pairs. Then we have to get rid of this obnoxious stuff. Uh, this is just the spine, it helps keep it uh, firm. And then this is, a lot of people call it grandma's hair, uh, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. Basically, if you were to pull on this little thread here, it would continue to rip the jacket off. Uh, so super useful if you need to add uh, some length to what you've cut already. Uh, I don't think I need to, so I'm going to go ahead and chop it off here. Then there's this neat little trick. We want to separate the pairs, and so you can do it by hand. Uh, what I typically do is I grab the shielding that I've already cut off. I stick it in between and just separate like that. You got an untwisted pair at that point. Uh, it just helps separate these a little quicker than normal. Okay, and that's it. Then we go ahead and pull them to their length here, try and get any of those uh, twirls out. There we go, mostly straight lines at this point. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the patch board here, and we're going to just follow the uh, colors that it has here and so we're going to use uh, B as our standard. There's A and B. B is pretty much what most everybody uses uh, these days. So we'll go ahead and just line up the colors as it shows there. So that's going to be green, green, white, blue, and then blue, white on this side. And on the other side it's going to be brown, brown, white, orange, and orange, white. Okay, so then we line it up in the middle, push it down a little bit, and then uh, we go ahead and just soft set each of these into their corresponding spot, uh, spots. Excuse me. Okay, now we do the other side. Basically all I'm doing is, is catching a corner inside of each hole so that they kind of stay in place. Then we double check before we make it permanent. Green, green, white. Blue, blue, white. Brown, brown, white. Orange, orange, white. And that is correct. It's in the middle, everything looks good. So we're gonna use our punch down tool here. What this is gonna do is this is going to push it all the way inside of that hole and it's also going to trim the excess wire here. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure the cutting edge is on the outside and not the inside. Just push down real hard. This is locking those wires into position and trimming uh, at the same time. Now, my tool isn't one of the more advanced tools there is. Um, a set that you can get where it will actually, you'll hear a snapping sound and it will put a little pressure on the edge of that cable to cut it for you completely. Mine basically uh, just makes a little indent in the end and so you do have to m manually remove the excess, which can be tiring, <laughs> especially if you have a lot of them to do like I do. And then we just go ahead and twist them until they come off. side. And there's a 
the second one. And so now we can see that all of them are completely cut off as they should be. Uh, it's right in the middle. It's not going anywhere. It's completely terminated. And so this port on the front here, number four, ready to go. All right, now it's time to actually test to make sure that everything worked well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use an ethernet testing tool such as this, which basically just sends a signal through to make sure that it's actually working or not. It'll tell us if it passes, what kind of cable it is. We want RJ45 in this case, um, but it can test a couple of different kinds. And uh, you just plug in an ethernet cable here on the top. And then it will also tell us if we have a fault. So if we have a miswire, for instance, if one is uh, wired to standard A and one end is wired to standard B. Open, meaning that uh, the end that we plugged into is plugged in, but the end on the other side isn't plugged into anything, or short. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a shot here. I believe, and we can see that it's open, right? Because we're not actually connected to anything at the moment. So let's go ahead and change that. I'm pretty sure that it's on number four. Let's give it a shot here. Plug it in, we'll hit the uh, test button here, and there we go, we've got pass. Green RJ45, no faults, which means that we've wired this particular one, number four, correctly on this end, and correctly on the end upstairs, uh, which has the other end of this tool. Basically, it's a receiver, and so we send the signal from this tool downstairs all the way through the cable to the other end, it receives it, sends it back, make sure that it's okay.